Hi everyone and welcome back to our cooking channel. Today we're going to be making tiramisu. So here's the deal. Every time I go over to my mom and dad's house, it is absolutely imperative that I bring tiramisu. My stepmom absolutely loves, 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 loves this recipe. So I'm going to be doing two versions today. There's going to be the traditional version with Frangelico, which is a hazelnut liqueur. And then I'm going to be doing for tiny humans, a non-alcoholic version of this favorite recipe of, for our family. So come with us and we'll show you how to make it. So this is what we're going to be using today. We have lady fingers. These are a pretty bland biscuit, but it's going to soak up a lot of the flavor really well. We have very, very strong hot black coffee. This is Mars Capone cheese. This is probably going to be the most expensive part of this recipe. Um, about two cups of it is worth $13 at the grocery store, but you need this to make this recipe. It's gonna be worth it, I promise you. You're going to need some eggs that are separated. So I have egg yolks and egg whites here. Regular sugar, vanilla. This is coca powder for dusting for afterwards. And then this, again, optional. This is the Frangelico. This is the hazelnut liqueur. A lot of people also will use Kahlua. It's a coffee flavored liqueur as well. Or take it out, don't use it. Now, before we begin, I have to say that tiramisu is one of the oddest recipes I have ever seen. We've seen some pretty different flavor combinations throughout our lives, I'm pretty sure. We have bad things mixed with bad things and it turns out great. And then we have good things mixed with good things and it's horrible. Cheese whiz and peanut butter sandwich, just don't do it, just say no guys. But this takes some pretty disgusting things. Black coffee as its own, not a fan. These cookies are probably the blandest cookies I've ever tasted in my life. And Mars Capone cheese on its own, not a tasty adventure. I don't know how it happens, but when you combine them all together, it gives you the most lush, smooth dessert on the planet. It is definitely one of my family's favorites. So. It, it, it's an adventure in its own right, but please give it a try. So to start off with, we're going to be putting in our egg yolks first. Doop, doop, doop. And then our sugar. Excellent. And then we're going to be mixing this on a medium, medium high speed for about six to seven minutes until it's really light yellow and super fluffy. All right, now that that has been whipped for about six or seven minutes, that looks so good. Um, we're going to add in our Mars Capone cheese and vanilla. Go ahead. There we go. And all of it. That's good. Beautiful. Now. <laughs> Now we're going to put this into the blender and we just want to mix it until it's smooth. So nice and slow. It's not going to take very long. We just want to make sure that the Mars Capone gets all of those lumps out. I'm going to boost it up one more speed for about 10 seconds. And one more. Excellent. Now we're going to take this mixture and we're going to transfer it into a bowl, set it aside until we work on the next part. All right, so I've taken out that mixture. I, we've cleaned our bowl and our whisk attachment. Now we're going to put in our egg whites and we're going to mix this 
until it's stiff. So it should be about a medium high speed, about three minutes, and we're going to come back whenever it's nice and stiff. All right, so everyone's stiff peaks happens whenever it sticks together you can hold it upside down that is exactly what you're looking for all right so now that you have your egg whites again nice and thick we're going to take these and we're going to fold them gently into our mascarpone cheese mixture so, Oliver, can you tell us how to fold something? Show us. You can start with that. So exactly, just nice and gently. You're going to come under and just flip the heavy mixture over top. You want to just incorporate it. And you have to be careful because if you mash it too much, you're gonna take all of the air out of this and then you're going to end up with a very flat tiramisu. It's not going to taste good, it's not going to be fluffy. So, you're doing good. It just takes a little bit. Do you want me to? Or do you want, okay. Here, we'll switch. Okay. So, just come around and just flip it over. That's all it is, it's just constant flipping just until it is just, just mixed. If there's still a little bit of lumpy pieces of white, that is 100% okay. So we're just gonna take the rest of it. Look how I love, love fluffy egg whites. And you want to, again, put your light mixture into the bowl with your heavy mixture. Because if you put the heavy mixture on top of all of this lightness, it's going to compress it. You're going to lose all of your air. So as soon as all of this has been folded in, we're going to start putting together our tiramisu. All right, everyone, this is where we're going to have to work fast. So in here, I just have my black coffee. This pan I'm using for our uh, alcohol-free version, just so I can tell them apart. So. We take our ladyfinger biscuits and we soak it in the coffee. Now you have to work fast because this will not take long to soak up, maybe two seconds. So dip, dip, and it will get very, very soft. It will just fall apart. So make sure not to burn yourself because as I said, it is hot coffee. So I'm just going to show you. That was dipped and then look at how squishy that is. It turns into a sponge. So we're just going to line. You don't have to grease this at all either. I would strongly suggest not greasing your pan. I think it would leave quite the odd taste for your tiramisu. Excellent. And for these here, you can actually just break these in half quite easily just to fill in this small section here. And you have one layer done. Now take some of your cream and layer it on top. You don't want a super thick layer. And as you're spreading it around, make sure that you remember these are very soft cookies. If you push down too hard, you will break them. There we go. And then we're just going to keep going and then we're going to put in a second layer. There you are. Now what you're going to do 
is you're going to take this, wrap it in cellophane or plastic wrap, and then you're going to put it in the fridge for a minimum of four hours. We want this to set together. So we're going to put this in the fridge, and then as soon as it comes out, we're going to dust it with cocoa powder and serve it up. So for those of you that are using the alcohol version with Frangelico, this is where you're going to be adding it in now. You want to add it into your coffee so all of that alcohol gets absorbed into your ladyfinger biscuits. And then the same thing, we're just going to put down a layer at the bottom. And remember, you're going to have to work really, really fast. before everything becomes too damp to work with. And let's squish that in there. Beautiful. Half of your mixture goes on top in a layer. Do two layers and into the fridge for four hours. All right, so now that this has been sitting we left it a little bit longer than we had to, which is never a bad thing. We're going to dust the top with our coca powder. And you can put as little or as much on here as you want. I am uh, I, I will want a lot kind of individual. Beautiful. And then it's as simple as serve and eat. All right, everyone, look at that. Look at the layers. And it's so spongy and fluffy. Absolutely delicious. Here, dig in. Try this yourself. You absolutely have to try it yourself. You like it? Yeah. It, it's really good, but it's also one of our favorites. We. <laughs> all right you need to try this yourself please if you want to see any different videos from us drop it into the comments below you're just like digging right in yeah, yeah. drop it into the comments below we'll try to add it to our roster if you try to make it yourself throw it into the comments i would love to see what you guys create as well until i see you around campus stay healthy stay safe and stay fed